What is going on guys? It is Duke and today we are looking at a new Town Hall 9 overpowered war attack three star strategy. That's right. Hey, it might not be a new strategy, but it's new on my channel. It's one that I've never covered as far as a full length feature goes. I've, I've covered it in my previous video, just one attack, but now we have three attacks three not six three attacks that we're going to show with this attack it's pretty cool it's something a little bit different we're talking a whole bunch of golems a whole bunch of wizards going through and just wiping out an entire base so you town hall nines get your pen and paper ready get ready to take your notes and get ready to share with your clan mates another one to add to your arsenal so uh i'm hyped about it i'm sure you guys are going to be like I said, any time you can show something new in the game, you know, it's always fun and exciting. I went to my boy Cleric Dragoon for this attack strategy name to see what it was. And uh, he is like Mr. Jeopardy when it comes to uh, attack strategy names. So if there was a category on Jeopardy for attack strategy names, he would go right to it and start saying, Alex, I will take attack strategy names for 500 and work his way up. We're jumping in. Here is the first one by Green Muscle. Four golems, 20 uh, wizards. So one wizard going over and creating the funnel here. Now, this is a little bit different from the old school avalanche attack, which I think was five uh, golems, and it was more of like a surgical drop. Now, if you keep an eye on the deployment of the golems here, we got one about 3 o'clock, one about 12 o'clock, and he's going to start encompassing the base. So he's got the one side pretty much taken out, and he's got the jump spell right down on top. So here with this one, what he's looking to do is basically just come right through the base. It's like kind of like a slow death. This thing just rolls through. It's like falling rock with these golems coming straight down. And once they get through the base, we have two of them on each side. We have the, the one all the way on the right-hand side. That already broke apart. But the one up top is still tanking. And we have a couple in the middle here. So th this this attack really has a ton to do with the tankage. So that, that is a really big part. It's got some back-end hogs rolling through. Let your heroes get in the center there. So like you said, you got four golems. You have your Barbarian King, which takes all kinds of heat. And you have these wizards just going behind them, trying to pick off anything that they can. They're kind of like sniping right behind those golems. So pretty much at this point, uh, Green Muscle is, has worked his way all the way to the other side of the base. Like I said, it's a slow-moving attack, so it's not like hogs or, or miners that are just going to rip through a base or bowlers or witches. The golems are, are very slow-moving. So as we can see, it looks like there's no golems left, but there's really only three defenses here and uh, two point defenses so that's not too bad so if he can just get through with these bowlers that were in the clan castle there and get to that wizard tower that is the main key now the queen she still has all of her health now there were no healers uh, for this raid so she went through the entire base unscathed so she still had all of her health into this last compartment and she still had the ability so she pops the ability right now and all that's left really is that mortar that is not going to be a problem at all we have a couple I yeah, still have a golem sitting there so that that mortar is king on that um, what's the name on that golem so that's cool because she can come in and just take out that mortar and it is a three star wiped out now just a disclaimer of course these are three star attacks uh, i watched a good handful of the different raids from these guys over here at red onslaught and i did not see really any failed um, style of attacks like this so it seems like it is uh, it's pretty good here so we got another one with four golems and we have 18 wizards of course we're bringing uh, bowlers into clan castle so for some of you guys out there who do not have bowlers in your clan you might want to go get a guy or rush one to it so as we can see we have a golem down Another one up on the, on the right hand side there, 3 o'clock, and the wall of wizards behind another one over here about 2 o'clock, so that's three golems down. So as you can see, he is basically coming around this whole entire base. A little bit different, uh, Fahim went with this uh, strategy. So if you look there, at right by the town hall, there are three golems right in there. So there's a ton of uh, heat being soaked up down there. Now the one golem is distracting that expo and he drops a jump spell to get right in here. This is kind of like a weird style anti-3 base a lot that you'll see up in the CWL style wars. But he's got the rage spell on 
the heroes and the bowlers are going to rip through. Looks like the one golem is broken up and we have the jump spells that are going to move this thing right on through. So, uh, like I was saying earlier, I was speaking to Goon and what he said, this one is called the Heavy Hopper. So as you can see, you know why it's heavy because you got all these golems. So it is heavy tanking attack strategy here. So maybe one if you guys aren't great with your surgical style of uh, hogs or like an air raid, this might be one that you guys can try out. You can go a little bit heavy on it. You don't have a ton of different things you got to do. There's not a lot of moving parts. It's basically just dropping golems down and the wizards right behind and knowing where to put your jumps in to get through uh, just to get into the space. So you can see on the back end here, it looks like uh, golem wise, we're, 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 we've gotten down low, but we still have the heroes in there doing their thing. We have a couple wizards and a couple archers. So right now it doesn't look great. It doesn't look, doesn't look like it's going to be a three star, but it does. So uh, it's kind of crazy, but it is a three star attack. As you can see, the king goes through and there's one, two, three, four defenses. But oh, pizza password is pizza for the class with that tournament. So I'm not going to edit that out. So. If you guys can say pizza down below in the comments, you guys are going to get some loving from me. So here we go. We still have the Barbarian King with all of his health. He already used the ability, but the little minion that could was able to take out that cannon. And we're going to go ahead and take out the mortar. And all that's left is that Tesla and the King. He's going to just be down with that. He's going to take out the Tesla with the help of the wizard shooting their little... Um, they're, they're, they're lightning out of their hands there so that's all good so looks like the gold mine is all that's left so another uh, look at this kind of attack strategy here this is a way different base so it's a little awkward but still nonetheless it worked out for three stars not an extremely wiping of the base but it was good enough that's all we're looking for is three stars so here is another one by green muscle on lp5 Four golems, 20 wizards, and four hogs for the back end here. Now, this, this base you might see a little bit more uh, in the wars that you guys are coming in. So, it is an anti-3. You have the town hall up top. And just watch the deployment of this. So, he's going to basically come in the, in the, uh, in the rainbow-type fashion with these golems coming down. He punched a hole right in the center with the quad quake. And then he's got the one golem coming down with a good handful. We got five wizards behind. On the other side over there, he's got another golem with five wizards. And then he's going to drop the two up top. They're going to wait, make, make their way down through the base. Like I said, they're going to soak up so much heat. And then the rest of the, uh, the, the heroes coming down and a whole bunch of wizards rage spell right over those wizard towers, which is huge because those wizard towers can be a problem but they are not in this case. So right now we have Expos keying on golems, which is always a good thing. And we have a handful of archer towers, but at the bottom here, there's not much, there's not much down there at all. We have a line of air defenses, but that's not gonna be a problem in this type of attack. We, now we're gonna be bringing in the hogs. They're gonna come through and they're gonna go right at that Expo, which is keyed on the center golem though. So those, uh, those hogs are gonna go and they're gonna take out that Expo on the left hand side meanwhile queen took out the right hand expo so this base is almost crippled at this point we still have a heal in the bag and we still have the queen with her ability so it looks like the uh, the hogs are going to go through they are going to jump over to that cannon and they are going to take it out so really at this point all that's left of, of worry of concern is are those um are those teslas on the right hand side the pop-up line of little farmed up teslas over there that's it and the cannon but keep your eye on the queen she is going to make her way around over to those teslas as you can see the hole is about to be broken through those golems are going to tank just long enough for the wizards to get in there and we have mr big time golem on the back end he is trying to make his way around queen swinging around she is catching up to the party poison which was on those skellies so as you can see it looks like queen's going to go ahead and she is going to pop the ability which is key there because once she pops the ability the tesla's switch from targeting onto her then they switch over to that golem which enables them to go through and just uh, kind of tank for her and she's going to go through get rid of the gold mine make sure the tesla is gone and that's all that's left is the cannon and the cannon will go down so one two on a tesla over on the cannon which is going to go down because it's fixated on the baby golemite 
and then really just that pump three star awesome job these guys over here red onslaught are using this attack a lot it is really helping out their town hall nines which is a great thing because town hall nines need to do their job in these wars because the sooner you can get rid of those nines on the opponent's map the sooner you can get into doing work on the tens and elevens that is the name of the game here i hope you guys like this attack strategy let me know if you guys are using it pizza is the password and we will catch you guys later